Somewhere around here, right? Yep. What do you care? You never cared about me, ever. And I liked it that way. I don't want you getting close to me. You think I like you now because I hugged you after the sink? Did you think, aw, how sweet she likes me? Don't get it twisted. I only hugged you because you were standing right in front of me. Could have been anything. Could have been a pole or cactus. In fact, I wish it were a cactus. So stop worrying about me, okay? So she says. Yeah, I do. What do you remember? I went to this amusement park when I was little. I was four. I remember it so clearly. This is where... I saw my mom and dad smile. I had so many happy memories here. The only happy memories I really have are from here. Memories of my family are... so bright and colorful but now this is where mom you saw that person standing here right a man yeah what was he doing I don't know it was dark but I think he was watching me. He was standing there in the rain with no umbrella. But I don't remember anything else. I got scared and went to hide inside the column. Nothing. Just wondering where this goes. Iba, what's past here? This leads to the subway. The subway? It has of course closed down. It is no longer in service. This is due to the explosion at the chemical plant that occurred years ago. The surrounding district of Kawasaki was contaminated and declared off limits. Bloom Park closed for the same reason. As did all commerce and industry in Kawasaki. This means the railroads and public transportation to and from this area were shut down as well. Subway. Iba, does the entire track run underground? No. The track leading northward from Bloom Park eventually rises to ground level. 
At a railroad crossing? Correct. Then the tracks must cross the surface street at some point. Correct. Iba, do me a favor. Can you see if any cars were driving on that surface street last night? Searching. Hey, you've been quiet for a long time. Are you okay? I'm just thinking. I've got something. I picked up a single vehicle traversing that street last night. A black SUV. I ran the plate through the vehicle registration database to find the owner. Who was it? Shoko Nadami's ex-husband and Mizuki's father, Renju Okiura. So let me get this straight. You think that daddy drove his car on the tracks through the tunnel stopped at the closed down station and carried mom's body to the park? I can't prove it was Renju. There's a chance someone else was driving the car. Yeah. Yeah. But, in any case, I know that the suspect must have used the subway tracks. That explains why there were no cars parked near the scene. Using that subway station, he could take the body right to the merry-go-round without being caught on camera. Daddy didn't do it! I am not so certain. Either way, I have to talk to Renju. And you can help me find him. Hey Mizuki, tell me again. The person you saw at the merry-go-round. No, it wasn't Daddy. I know it wasn't. You're sure? Well, I... Think about a week ago, when I went to hang out at Lemnus Gate. Did you notice anything different about him? Nothing really. He was the same as usual. And he didn't come to see you in the hospital, did he? No. Not even for his own daughter. That is very unusual. I don't want to say anything. I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to talk to anyone who thinks my daddy is a killer. Look, I don't want to believe it either. I've known him for more than five years now. He's like family to me. Suki, Renju sent you that Nile message, didn't you? What? I got this buddy of mine. Real bad personality, but real good with technology. I got some help from them. Bad personality? There was a message sent at 8.05 last night. Does this sound familiar? Mizuki, Daddy got caught up in something serious. Please come to Bloom Park's merry-go-round right away. Daddy needs your help. Please do as I say. Yeah, that was it. It was from Daddy's phone. But I didn't want to say anything because that would make Daddy a suspect, so... So you kept quiet. Yeah. My dad's never said anything like that to me, ever. That he was counting on me? I had to go. But you invited Ota along. Bloom Park is in the middle of the Kawasaki District. There are a number of homeless individuals in a high crime rate there. Mizuki must have been worried about going alone. But it couldn't be him. Why not? Daddy couldn't have sent the message. Someone else must have used his phone. And his car. Daddy wasn't driving the car either. Somebody else did it. The 
killer did it, not Daddy. The only evidence we have so far leads to one conclusion. The cell phone and the car were both operated by Renju Okiura. I don't remember. It was a while ago. What about you? What about me? You tried calling him. I did. I called earlier, and I tried a few times last night. And he didn't pick up? No. Dante, incoming call from the boss. Connected. Hey, I just got the report from Iva. Renju is a suspect? He's definitely suspicious. I agree. I think he's our number one suspect. He's been acting strange since last night. If he didn't come see Mizuki in the hospital, he won't pick up his phone, and if he vanishes after questioning, he doesn't have an alibi for the time of the murder either. He doesn't? No, not one we can corroborate. So Renju was questioned at a local station? That's right. Then why didn't you keep him there? Protocol. Nothing we could do. He wasn't a suspect then, and we had nothing to charge him with. We couldn't hold him. No, I told you he vanished. Where are you headed? Renju's house. Don't bother. I had local cops search the place. They didn't find anything. Where could he be? He didn't give us any new information. He didn't have much to say at all, really. Shoko's time of death was estimated to be about 5 p.m. yesterday. Renju claims that he was at home alone at the time. But that means no one can back up his story. Alright, boss. Let me know if you find something. You too. Keep me in the loop. Where the hell did Renju go? Uh, Sunpoke? What? Um, Sunpoke. Or something. Oh, Sunfish Pocket. Renju was telling me about that place. It's a maid cafe that he runs. I found it. Approximately 6.2 miles north-northeast. In Akihabara. you
You look awful. Have you been sleeping any? My best friend was murdered, boss. I don't have it in me to sleep right now. Renju had his left eyeball removed. Right. Shoko too. So perhaps, Mr. Date, you are the killer. You're missing your left eye, so you steal them from others. I'm kidding. Only a joke. I'm too tired for your jokes right now, Pewter. Hmm. Actually... You lost your eye six years ago, correct? Yes, but I don't remember anything from back then. I lost my eye and my memories. I was transplanted into your empty eye socket a year later. We have been together for more than five years. Am I not allowed to be here? No, I didn't mean it like that. I was here first. I was just talking to the boss about Renju's murder. Two murders, one right after the other. How could I not be? You were the first on the scene, so you know this better than anyone, but Renju was murdered. No way this was a suicide. And the fact that his left eye was removed tells me that this was the same killer as Shoko. The serial killer. The new Cyclops killer. What? That's the nickname that's been spreading around headquarters. New? Yes. Several years ago. Pewter. There is no point in hiding it from him. He would find out on his own eventually. It's all over the news. These murders have gone viral, so to speak. The killings from six years ago have continued. The Cyclops killer is back. Six years ago? Is that what you were talking about, boss? Fine. I suppose you deserve to know. She's sleeping at the hospital. They're going to give her counseling after she wakes up. I see. Her mother and her father. I hope she'll be okay. Of course not. I've still got a mountain of work piled up, answering to the higher-ups, the press. I'm just taking a little breather. We have a name for it down at HQ. The original Cyclops serial killings. To distinguish it from this new one. It was six years ago in October. Four bodies were found in the mountains of Akikawa Valley. But the decomposition of the corpses were all at different stages. They were each killed sometime during May to September of that year. But they did have two things in common. They were all young women. And... Each corpse was missing their right eyeball. Pulled out posthumously. A few days after the corpses were discovered, the killer sent a statement to the press. I killed them, and they are now my dear companions. Something like that. He signed the statement under the name Cyclops. Hence the name, the Cyclops Killer. The Cyclops is a mythological race of one-eyed giants. According to Greek myth, they are the children of Uranus, god of the sky, and Gaia, goddess of Earth. Cyclops were known for their outstanding strength and smithing ability. So the letter to the press wasn't a fake? It was the real killer? Yes, it had to be. 
A picture of one of the victims right after she was killed was sent along with the letter. No. In six years, we never got a single trace. So maybe Cyclops is responsible for these murders as well. No. That's impossible. Why? For one, the original Cyclops killer only killed women. Renju doesn't fit that profile. Second, all of the victims had their right eyes removed. But Shoko and Renju... We're missing their left eye. The timing of the eye removal is also inconsistent. The original Cyclops killer removed the eyes after the victims were killed. But Shoko and Renju were both still alive. But even so, you can't say for sure this isn't our guy. Maybe they're just doing things a little differently now. Or do you have another reason? I'm sorry, Date. I can't say anymore. Bullshit, you can't. It's a national secret. How can it be a national secret? Date, please, forget about it. I told you already, you don't need to know anything about that case to investigate this one. The criminal for this case and the case six years ago are not the same. Iba, bring up all investigation records of the original Cyclops serial killings. I already had a look through the database while you were talking. Unfortunately, I found no relevant information. I also did not discover anything of note on the internet. Only amateur theories. All lacking credibility and evidence. Damn it! That's all we have for now. Alright. Special Agent Date, we need you to continue your work. Right. I think I'll head back to where Renju was found, Sunfish Pocket. Date, you're exhausted. Why don't you get some sleep before you continue your investigation? I'm fine. Let's go, Iba. Understood. The vehicle is accelerating 2% slower than usual. Did you put anything in the trunk? No. What about the back seat? Back seat? Mizuki! Hey, watch out! Ice forward, stupid! the hospital. They're probably freaking out over there right now. I'm taking you back. No, don't! Nothing will change if I stay at the hospital all day. You're going to investigate, right? Take me with you, I can help! How is a little runt like you gonna be any help? I'm Renju's daughter. Maybe I'll notice something you don't, something only his daughter would know. I don't know. My daddy was killed. I can't just stay at the hospital. <sighs> Fine. Don't say I never did anything for you. You're going to take me along? Just promise not to interfere with the investigation. Got it. It wasn't locked. I just opened the door. I've been here for like 10 minutes. Why don't your doors have auto locks? I know you like old cars, but you gotta lock the doors. You should be a little more apologetic for someone who just got caught breaking into my car. Mizuki does raise a valid point. If 
you are not more serious about security, you should consider replacing the car altogether. You too? No, it's more like I don't like sitting still and moping all day. I've grown out of my brooding, pretentious teenager phase. Odd thing for a preteen to say. Are you not aware of Mizuki's mental prowess? She is far more developed than her classmates. She is even reading psychology papers by Alfred Adler. Sounds pretentious to me. I can still talk this time. Maybe I'm just getting used to it. Mizuki's psychological wounds have been healed by the same. If you have nothing to talk about, you don't have to say anything. Fair enough. You're an adult, shouldn't you know that already? If you start talking about the weather, it means you have nothing to say. Damn. Regret. Hey, about Renju. Do you have anything to tell me? Anything at all that might help? Well, it's not about Daddy, but... I heard from Daddy that Mom had a secret. Shoko had a secret? You were talking to yourself again. I heard you. It's creepy. You should cut that out. Yeah, I know there's no reason to hide it, since she already knows about Abyss. It's just... hard to explain. I won't say anything yet. Understood. But I am ready to be introduced at any time. Just let me know when the time is right. It's not a proposal, no need to be so formal. Shit, I said that out loud. Date, I think you should go to the hospital. Did you know that Mom was the representative of an investment company? Yeah, I did. That whole company was a big scam. A scam? Well, I don't know the details. They start up a company to get people to invest in it, then shut it down on purpose and keep the money. She got really rich like that. Shoko did this? Yep. By herself? No, dummy. Of course it was with other people. I saw gangsters there sometimes. If she ever got into trouble, she had them take care of it. I am scanning all known crime databases, but I cannot find any reports referencing this. They must have been extraordinarily careful. I'm not okay. So, you want to go back to the hospital? I'd be more than happy to drop you off. That's not what I meant. Why are you always so pushy, Date? I'm not pushy, I'm just worried. You've got a weird way of showing it. It doesn't look like you're worried. You're just weird. You've always got something smart to say, huh? You're just like Renju. Date. What about Daddy? Nothing. You have no tact, do you? This is why you're single and always will be. <laughs> That's where you're wrong, kiddo. I look like a single father when you're around. Chicks love it. Yeah, chicks love to see creepy old men hanging out with a sixth grader. Hey! What are you implying? Ooh, did I make you mad? Now I'm stuck in a car with an angry old creepy pervert. I am not an old creepy pervert. And even if you were my age, you're not my type. Ew, I don't want to know about your type! Hey, you started it. Stupid old man. Punk-ass kid.
Oh, Detective Date. Good to see you, sir. And this is... Have you looked through the case file yet? Oh, oh, I am so sorry. She's the victim's... Yes, please let us through. I was asking for your name. My name is Kagami. It's Kagami! Kagami? I told you it's Kagami! I told you my name like five times! I thought so. Once this is over, get some rest, all right? You too, Detective Dante. No, we didn't find anything today. Each keg has a capacity of 20 liters. All three kegs were filled in approximately 55 pounds each. Is that a spear? It more closely resembles a harpoon of sorts. I believe this is a trident. Any chance this was used in the murder? No. There are no traces of blood on the trident, and no indication that Renjin was stabbed. Dragon's Palace Pasta. 1800 yen. 1800? Isn't that pretty average? This is average? Nothing special. I thought I already told you. Sitting around rotting away in the hospital would be worse. Still. I know what you're trying to say. For a little girl to find her dad like that and then want to go back to the scene? I think it's totally weird, right? In fairness, it is also weird for an adult policeman to acquiesce such a request from a child. But this is what I wanted. I didn't want to run away from it. I wanted to confront it. I didn't want... to be weak. How could I forget? I'll never be able to get that image out of my head. Not until the day I die. You were telling me earlier that you could spot things only a daughter would know. I know what I said. I'll tell you if I notice anything. What are you staring at? Creeper. I agree. Iba, did you get anything from the surveillance camera? Unfortunately, no. 
All of the recordings from local surveillance equipment have been erased. What about backups? There are none. Nothing was uploaded to the cloud either. The capacity of this oil drum is 200 liters. It weighs approximately 44 pounds when empty. Let me check inside. What? There's something inside. This is the oil drum. This is the kind of oil drum that has a lid, right? Correct. Let's open it. This is... This is the wristwatch Renju always wore. No doubt about it. But how did this get here? anything. Jeez, you're pushy. Pushy men are seen as desperate. This is why no one likes you. Besides, Date? Hmm? Never mind. Just do your investigation or whatever. What was she gonna say? Now is not the time to worry about such things. Hey. Are you doing okay? Oh, sorry. Just staring. If you're having a hard time, you can tell me. I'm fine. It's not like the body is lying here. Friends on vacation, you got pretty green eyes. I can see them out of science, girl.